Still hold on. Oh, we never walk. Oh, oh no, we <laughs> dropped our pay dirt on the ground. There will be no logging trucks fly by here in the morning. There will be no Mills Market today. That's highly disappointing. Yeah, because today's the day we're heading home, but before we do that, Oh, but we will have breakfast. A delicious yogurt. I got bacon slices. Oh, and bacon slices. Oh. Can't get that part, the best part. You don't dip them in the yogurt, though. Separate. They could. So, before we uh, do anything, we gotta check what they'd be. Hey, are you groovy dudes and you slap happy hippies? And you angry poopers, too. This is a hip beat. And I'm here to give you the weather. Let's go! It's a groovy day. Groovy. About 55 degrees. Partly sunny. 80% groovy. And 20% wicked cool. Now, what do you call a dog with no legs? You can call him anything you want, but he ain't coming. <laughs> Thank you, Hip B, for that marvelous weather report. Now, today we're taking down and heading home, and it's good weather for that because we want the tent to be dry when we pack it away because you never know how many months it'll be, especially this time of year, before we open it up again. And everything is dry today. It's also a perfect day to take down. But we have um, stuff to do before we leave. We have pay dirt, not pay, well, it's tailings. We did Vendetta's pay dirt a while ago. And we still have, we, we ran that twice through uh, a dream mat. And we were still getting gold out of it. And I still believe there's more gold in it. So we're going to run it through the micro mat. And see how that works give the micromat a good test because i really haven't given it a legitimate test to see if it works and i'm a little skeptical about the micromat but we'll see um and i also got uh pay dirt that we had from rosie that we ran through it and i want to run that again through the micromat too so we're running everything through the micromat and cleaning up all the gold that we uh, ran through the recirculating sluice, the tailings, and see if there's, we can get any more out of it. And I'm sure we can. So that's what we're gonna do after we have breakfast. Hello. We just wanted to take a moment to tell you about uh, a show, a, uh, uh, we're going to be, uh, on public display, on public display, all of our beehive products, our honey, uh, a, a, a lot of our candles. I don't know if all of them, cause we have a lot, but, uh, and, uh, our honey candy and all our beehive products. We're going to have pay dirt and prospecting equipment there. And it's one day only in Billerica, Massachusetts. 
at 306 Boston Road. Bill Ricca Nutrition is the business that we're going to be set up in for the day. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And you can check out, uh, come down, see us, check out all our products, get some honey, candy. It'll be just in time for Easter. So uh, we're going to have a lot of Easter stuff, a lot of Easter, Easter candles, stuff. Easter soaps, Easter gift bags for kids, adults. Gonna be a lot of stuff. So check it out, March 23rd, 9 to 4. Be there. Here we are. Breakfast was delicious. Very good. And now we've got this bucket here. Where is it? Over here. This bucket. This is the tailings. There's more too in this one. And this bucket. This one is uh, the leftovers from Vendetta Prospecting. And this one is the leftovers from Rosie's Pay Dirt. And we're going to run them all again through the micro mat from Dream Mat at a nice slow speed and see what we can get out of it. One last run. It's the last day of this trip. So we're gonna clean up all the gold. The leaves will be coming down real soon. It's beautiful out today. That's why I'm in no rush to leave. No, we we came up here, um, when? A long time ago. A week ago, a week, a week or so ago. <laughs> yeah, but we were here before that. We went home, we yeah. were up here for like a week and we went home for like two days and then came back for another week. And the leaves are still on the trees, so we didn't leave until the leaves leave. But anyway, we're going to sluice this out. Look at that shirt. Let, let's take a closer look at this shirt here. Who makes these things? Look at that. You Crazy. think this one up? No. This is a cowboy cat riding a rainbow spitting shark in space now that's spaced out all right here we oh wait a minute we got to change the mat change the oh mat. yeah that's our regular size mat in there but we have a nice cleanup dream that's mat the real fine is here. look at that real small that's what you got when you have fine material and you're cleaning it up out of the black sands and regular sands and garnets. You wouldn't want to run anything big through there. Let's try that. Let me get up here so I can see. Oh, there's still gold up here from when we never cleaned out this loot. There's still gold on. Oh, we never walked. Oh no, we <laughs> dropped our pay dirt on the ground. Oh. oh. What do you have to say for yourself? What a debacle. You left all the gold in the sluice from the last run, and then you dropped our pay dirt on the ground upside down. How are we going to easily get that off there? It's all black sand and fine. We're going to leave, <laughs> leave that. We're going to leave that right there for now. But first, I forgot to wash out the V matting. Yeah. Which is where a lot of the gold is. That's there from another day in our last episode where we cleaned up a bucket of pay dirt from Rosie at Coos Candy Rock and Gift. Looks like that's working. Oh, you got a sour puss. Well, I cleaned up the gold and put it where it belongs. And now I gotta clean this one up. So here's all oh, my no. stuff. And it's gonna have all pine needles in it. Big boo-boo there. I'm 
take it all like that. Can't cry over spilled milk, they say. And we'll flush it with water. Oh, that looks like a real pine needle soup. Something you might cook up when you're camping and you run out of food. Oh, what a mess that is. Now there's gonna be a few pine needles. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, see, it could have been worse. All right, now we're gonna try again. Here we go. Something funny about the end flow here. Yeah, hang on. Oh, there we go. Brush the bubbles out. All right. I want to be able to see, so I'm getting up here again. I want to see what's in these concentrates that were left over and see if there's anything actually left in there for gold. Is that a good speed? That's pretty good. You can run it pretty slow to make sure it absolutely catches everything. This, this is the final run for the concentrate. I need a soup in there. Now, this is uh, the Vendetta Pager. There was five grams of really fine gold. And a lot of black sand. A lot of black sand. Yeah, Vendetta's got some great pay there, that's for sure. And I would guess we missed some gold. There must be something in there. That out. Yeah, that's good. You won't lose anything with it running at that speed. Do we see anything on the indicator map? Yeah, a little piece over there. Yeah, that's why I figured there'd be something in there. That's it, though. That's real fine stuff. Now let's clean it out and see. Yeah, that's all there is. That means you did a pretty darn good job the first time you went through this dirt. Yeah. Might be some fine stuff in there, we'll see.
not sold on this mat yet. This just doesn't. It doesn't it's, what? It doesn't seem like there's enough anything going on here to make it. Well, it's only made to run sand through, yeah. or black sand, very fine material. Well, let's see what's in it. Now, is that all the material we have dumped together? No, that's just vendetta. Oh, okay. Uh, off the ground. Oh, yeah. I need a soup. What's that? It's going to take a little bit because there's a lot of black yeah. sand. I'm already seeing a decent sized piece of gold way up there near the top. Look at all the rest of it. Can we get in there close oh, enough it's to so see? it's so fine. It is so fine, but that one isn't. Yeah, look at, look at this over here. Look at all that fine stuff in there. I got to get out. But it is the finest of everything that was probably in that pay dirt. Well, I guess that mini mat does pretty good on the fine stuff, huh? Yeah. And I was a little skeptical, but... I'm pretty confident that that picked up 99% of what was left in that sand and black sand. Now we're down to the little pan. Yeah, I had to get a smaller pan because... You got some real fine gold and some real heavy black sand in there, so this one's tricky. Okay, there's what we got. We've got these small little micros in there. See them all? All up the top there. All around. Oh, quite a bit that the first dream mat missed and the micro caught it on the well we ran it through the regular mat twice and that mat once and that's what we caught so that's pretty good i'm impressed with it i was skeptical at first but did the job once again dream mat for the win a little chilly a little chilly. We don't want to start a fire because we're going to be leaving uh, after we're done. But it's crumpet time. Oh, can't leave out the crumpets. Look what I got. I picked these up at Rosie's yesterday. Look at that. We'll give one a try. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like a barbecue. Mm. Pork. Yeah, very barbecue. Mm. Very good. Good crumpet. Now, I don't think there's much more in that Vendetta pay dirt after it went on the ground and got scooped up in the pine needles and ran through. But I'm keeping it anyway. We'll just keep running it and running it and running it. And uh, I like the micro. I wasn't too sold about the micro mat. I like the regular dream mat. But you have to run that at a certain speed in order to clear out the rocks the half inch rocks so it pulls the gold out with it but the micro mat those rocks move right off pretty easily and it seems like it ca catches the gold in those little pockets so i'm pretty confident that gold was super fine most of it that uh, it caught almost all of it now after we have our crumpets here we're going to run that dirt we got from rosie's again now all that's bigger gold so i don't know if we missed any of it i'd be surprised if there's any if we find any in the uh, micro we'll see but you know a gold dance can't hurt
Now, my guess is that there's no gold in this, that we caught all of it when we ran it through the other dream mat. Only because I don't think there's any super finds. And the dream mat's proven itself time and time again to yeah, it, be it very good. Are you seeing anything in there yet? I don't see anything bright. Nothing that sticks out. That's about it. Let's see if we see anything. Oh no, that pretty much looks goldless. Doesn't mean there's not, but we'll see. What am I looking for? All that gold. And there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Oh, yeah. There, there. there is gold. There's a piece right there. Another small piece in there. Some up in there. I'm not sure if that wasn't in there. And, I, and it was contaminated from the last run. It could have been. It doesn't look like a lot right now, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that whole thing right off and see what's under it. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Holy cow. That's a big piece of gold that was under that plate. <laughs> now we have no idea where this came from. Anything that's under here, right? Now let me rinse this off. Because this has been on here for quite a long time. I wonder if there's more gold than all that fine silt that's under there. Well, let me see what was under there. Oh, look at that. Wow. all work down to about that much half a cup of material I'm just gonna pan off a little bit of this light stuff on top so this is gonna be a combination of what was under that plate and anything left in the pay dirt from Rosie's right yeah anything stuck from vendettas <laughs> anything stuck in there from vendettas the final of the finals you got to make sure when you use this method that you shake it down to your ripple side because when you wash this down and you're looking at it really closely and you know there's nothing in there you can get it out of the pan if you washed it the other way you'd have the ripples in the way you wouldn't be able to wash that right out of there like that right, a lot more than i thought was going to be in there yeah <laughs> I can't wait to see. I like these surprise cleanups. Holy cow! I'm willing to bet that most of that was under that plate. That's amazing. Look under, at that. Under the plate. We took the whole sluice apart. That's the best cleanup of the whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> under the plate and the sluice. When's the last time we took that plate off of that sluice? Uh, I haven't taken it off. Yeah, so. I put it on and that was it. Suck it up. This is gonna be the 
combined pin with everything in it, right? Yeah, everything from what we missed on uh, it's the tailings of the, the final after that we ran the tailings from Vendetta's pay dirt and Rosie's. Plus what was under the metal plate. And plus what was under the metal plate in the sluice. I'm pretty sure that's where most of it came from because we could visually see the biggest piece right there under it. I got some surfactant, jet dry, or this is Cascade Rinse Aid. Just a drop or two that breaks the surface tension and keeps the fine gold from floating away on you. And this is really fine gold and it wants to float away. I think that big piece right there is the one we could see under the plate and the sluice. Yeah, I'm surprised there's all that much in there. Yeah, I'm amazed. I'm really happy with that payday. Wow, look at all that gold. A lot of fine stuff. I'm surprised to find that much left in the sluice and after that thing's been run four times. Still gold. Oh, there's a ton of it in there, huh? Yeah. I'm going to keep it, and we'll run it again another time. It's like the pay dirt that keeps on giving. <laughs> there you have it. More gold in the, all that than I thought. Um, yeah. Caught in the V matting of the... I think there may still be more, and I could. I don't have, like, a toothbrush to brush it all out, but there may still be more fine gold in that V matting because there's still mud in there so probably is but I don't have a toothbrush I'll have to get Tom's next time <laughs> um, we got to clean all this up I got to convert this back into a regular sluice box we're going to pack all this stuff up uh, because we got to bug out today let's do it We got phase one down, which is take the tent down. Gone. Phase two is pack it all in there. I got all my prospecting equipment in the trunk. Let me show you. This is why I like a ridgeline. I clean this all out. You see, here's the trunk. It has, it has room for all kinds of stuff in there. So I fill that up with all stuff, and it can, it can keep stuff dry. But if you need it, and you got stuff all packed on top of it, you gotta take everything out. So you put stuff in there you don't need right away. Now we're gonna fill it up. Let's do it. It's all in there, 
All packed in there, it took us a little over an hour, about an hour and 10 minutes. There won't be any food today. You might see a stop somewhere on the way home, on the way out of here. But uh, if not, thanks for watching, coming along and joining us on our adventures around New England. Who knows where we're gonna be next? Could be here, could be New Hampshire, could be Vermont, could be Massachusetts, could be in my backyard with the bees, who knows? So stay tuned for that. We've got some live streams coming up. We're going to be doing a few more of them a year. Uh, check out thehipbee.com. Get yourself some honey, beehive products, and all that stuff. And if you can't get enough of us, hit that join button. Become a member. And you can get in on the member activities and uh, things that we do with members. And I guess that's about it for now, huh? That's it. So until next week. Peace. Peace.